You've put in the hard work and built your business, so why do you need to build a brand as well? Simply put, a brand is a business's identity. It's the part of the business that connects with customers and keeps them coming back. Any business owner that wants to ensure success should prioritize building a brand. Here are five simple steps to help make your mark as a creator. 1. Know the basics. Ask yourself, why does your business exist, and what is its purpose? Use your why to craft a mission statement that fits why you started in the first place. 2. Be consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to the longevity of your business. Establishing trust is crucial for brand loyalty, so showing up regularly is a must. 3. Choose your marketing channels. There are so many social media channels out there, but you don't necessarily need to be on all of them at once. The key is to start small and expand as you grow. 4. Establish your expertise. As a business owner, establishing your presence as an expert in your niche can boost brand awareness and credibility. You just have to be willing to put yourself out there. 5. Create a community. Your community members are your brand ambassadors. They can help you expand your reach and grow your business. You want customers to be dedicated not only to your product, but also to whatever else you have to offer in the future. This information is courtesy of Teachable. Your brand is your unique symbol, language, or digital footprint that people follow to connect with you, your product, and services or offerings. Your brand is how people identify your uniqueness. It is what should make you stand out from the crowd. Coach Raquel at MyCoachMinistry.com says, I believe that we are so unique and one-of-a-kind that we don't even know it. Just like our fingerprints, we all have a unique brand, I call it a divine purpose. It requires some unearthing to bring it forth, but it is often buried in our early childhood trauma. Like the pearl in the oyster. We just have to do some psychological and emotional digging. I, I, I know you're the best person to tell us, what is branding, Marty? Yeah, so let's start with what branding isn't. Okay. It's because it's not a lot of things people say it is. It's not a logo. Okay. A logo is a very useful tool for a business, but it's not the brand. It's a symbol for the brand. A brand is not a product. So when people talk about this brand, buying this brand or that brand, they're really talking about buying one product or another product. The brand is not that. Uh, people say the brand is a promise the company makes to mm -hmm. customers. And there's some truth in that. Yep. I mean, it, it does end up acting as a promise, but that's not what it is either. Uh, advertising people like to say, well, it's the sum of all the impressions that a company makes on an audience. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're trying to sell a lot of impressions, I can see where that might be useful to you. But from, from a business's point of view, why do they want that? <laughs> right? So, and how does that help uh, creative there. people understand what they're doing? Right. So, um, uh, none of those things are really uh, what, what branding is. A brand is a result. It's, it's a customer's gut feeling about a product, a service, or a company. It ends up in their heads, in their hearts. They take whatever raw materials you throw at them and they make something out of it. But it's they're making it, they're creating it. And so in a sense, when you create a brand, you're not creating one brand, you're creating millions of brands, like however many customers or people in your audience. Oh. Each one has a different brand of you. So a brand is like a reputation, right? So it's your business reputation and everyone's gonna be a little bit different about what that reputation is. And that's okay as long as you have a, you've got it corralled mostly where you want it and that it's beneficial to the company. So um, we tend to look at companies and, and designers uh, tend to look at branding as from our point of view, like we're, this is something we're doing. We're telling a story, we're, we're making a claim, we're, you know, we're making a pitch. Uh, and, and that's what we do, but that's not what a brand is. A brand is the result of that. And if you don't start there, you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You actually don't know what you, you, you think you know what you're doing, but you, you don't. So from a, a, from a designer's point of view, I mean, I always tended to be this way. It's like, I just had a, it was my gut feeling, right? About whether this is gonna work or not. And then yeah. I would sell it as hard as I could to mm -hmm. get the client to sign off on it. Um, from the client's point of view, they're going, well, it's a checklist. I got the, you know, I got the logo, I got the, uh, I got the tagline, I got the ad campaign, click, chick, chick, and they think they're done. Right. None of that's right. You know, mm. what's right is what happens in people's heads. 
Like, what have we achieved? Mm -hmm. Like, what's the reputation that we've created through uh, the products we're putting out, like and the design of the products, the messaging we're putting out, the look and feel of them, uh, our culture, you know, how does that affect people? How our, how our employees behave, you know, how is that affecting um, our reputation? All that stuff counts. So it's a big world. And it actually uh, takes in almost all of business. Not so much finance, but finance is involved too, because mm -hmm. finance has to green light all these things. But uh, almost everybody in a in a company is, you know, affecting the brand, doing something with the brand, doing it for the brand, or hurting the brand. So you you, you got to think of it that way. Entrepreneurship is a lifestyle. It is not a destination. It is a lifestyle. Design your million dollar brand. Unearth your potential. Discover your purpose and establish your unique product or service. Create your unique strategy. Execute the mission. The past is a lesson. The present is over. The future is a mystery. Embrace it. Build a network plan. Find the best people with shared objectives and synergize. That is to consolidate, collaborate, and monetize. Set targets to achieve. This will not be a simple and easy process. It will be mind-bending, make you uncomfortable, and requires changing habits. However, if you are able to endure to the end, you will not only have breakdowns, but you will experience some breakthroughs.